maps. The distribution of various phenomena or features on the earth are usually represented on maps which show the whole world or a part of it. Study at a glance. Maps. Essential components of maps. Plan. Maps. A map is a representation of the whole earth or a part of it on a flat sheet of paper in accordance with some scale and direction. The well-known geographer Ptolemy attempted to draw maps and his influence lasted till the 16th century. All the maps are put together to make an atlas of maps of various sizes and drawn on different scales. They provide more information than a globe. Types of maps Maps are of different types. They are physical maps, political maps, thematic maps. Physical maps Physical maps show natural features of the earth like mountains, plateau, plains, rivers, oceans, etc. Political maps Political maps show different countries and states of the world with their boundaries. Example, political map of India. Thematic maps Maps showing specific information are called thematic maps. Example, road maps, rainfall maps, forest distribution maps, industry maps, etc. There are two types of maps based on scale. They are small scale maps, large scale maps. Small scale maps. When large areas are shown on a small map, it is called small scale map. These maps give very limited information. The map of India is a small scale map. Large scale maps. When small areas are shown on a large map, it is called large scale map. These maps give detailed information. The map of Delhi shown on a large sheet of paper is a large scale map. Essential components of maps The essential components of maps are the following Distance, Direction and Symbol Distance Distance is measured with the help of a scale. A scale is the ratio between map distance and the ground distance. A scale may be shown on the map by a statement or by a graphical representation of a line divided and subdivided or by a representative fraction, RF. For example, the distance between school and home of student is 10 kilometers. If he shows this 10 kilometer distance by 2 centimeter, on a map, it means 1 cm on the map will show 5 km on the ground. Thus, the scale will be 1 cm equals 5 km. In this way, scale is very important in a map. Direction Direction is known by the arrow marked with N on the map. It is also known by an instrument called compass. The top of the map on which the title of the map is written is always to the north and the lower part of the map is to the south direction. The right hand side is the east and the left hand side is the west. The earth rotates around its axis and it has two poles. The two poles are fixed points. They are taken as north and south points. When you draw a line from north to south pole, then the right side of this line is east 
and the left side of this line is west. These four points are known as cardinal points. Sketch A sketch is a drawing of an area or object mainly based on memory and not to the scale. Sometimes a rough drawing of an area is needed to know where a particular place is located with reference to other places. With the help of a rough sketch, we may find the location of the place. Such a rough drawing is drawn without scale. Symbols It is impossible to draw actual shape and size of different features like buildings, roads, trees, railway lines or a well on a map. So, we use various symbols to show these features. With the help of these symbols, we can draw maps and read them easily. Maps have a universal language, a language that can be read by all. An international agreement facilitates the use of these symbols. These symbols are called conventional symbols. Various colors in maps are also used for the same purpose, uses of a map. Maps serve us not only as a tool to analyze and understand geography, but also for illustrating graphically. Maps guide us on the land, whether we travel on foot, by rail or bus. Navigators need maps to steer their ships in the right direction. The air pilots on the planes require maps as a guidance to fly in the right direction. Town planners and army leaders also require maps for their operation. Plan A plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale. A large scale map depicts much information. Sometimes we want to know the length and breadth of a room which can't be shown on a map. In such an event, we can refer drawings drawn on scale. It is known as a plan. Summary Maps represent a part or whole of the earth on a flat sheet of paper. They are drawn to some scale. They indicate direction also. There are three types of maps. Physical, political and thematic maps. Based on scale, there are two types of maps. They are small scale and large scale maps. Maps serve us not only as a tool to analyze and understand geography, but also for illustrating graphically. The essential components of a map are distance, direction and Symbols. The four major directions such as north, south, east and west are termed as cardinal points. Symbols used in various maps all over the world are called conventional symbols.